Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and demo of the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free Photo Edition Foundation. I think this has actually been out for some time now and I have always wanted to try it but they don't have like Laura Mercier and like the bigger brands in my Sephora because my Sephora is in a JCPenney's. But when I was in Florida, I ended up getting to go to a big Sephora and I decided to purchase this product. And I did have to go back and change my shade because this is a foundation that I have found on my skin. It does oxidize just a little bit. It's nothing like how the um, Urban Decay foundation does, which I did do a review on as well. If you guys would like to see, I will link it down below as well. But um, it's not nearly as bad as that. So basically what I like to do in all my reviews is kind of go ahead and show you guys the demo and then I'll come back and kind of tell you guys the pros and cons to this product. So I hope you guys enjoyed that demo and I'm going to go on and get into the review. As always, I have a huge list of notes since I've worn this for the last couple of weeks and uh, I'm just going to kind of tell you guys a little bit about it. It is $48 on the Sephora website and it comes in 11 different shades, which isn't the best shade range, but I don't find that I have an issue. So I definitely think that they could benefit from um, a better color range. If you are someone that hasn't tried out this foundation um, before or you're not sure what shade you would be, again, you could always go into Sephora and they will color match you, which I think is awesome, and you could find your shade. The next thing I want to talk about is the finish of this product. I find that it does give me like a matte finish, but it's not like so unbelievably matte that it's nowhere near like the Urban Decay foundation. Um, like that is like a super matte finish, while this one is more of like a natural matte finish. I find that it still looks really natural on the skin and that it still looks, you know, like skin, if that makes any sense. It's really natural. So as far as a long wear time, I did read reviews and a lot of people with oily skin said this didn't last very long for them. But for me it did. I tend to get more oily on like my T-zone and my chin and my forehead. Um, the most but again it's one of those foundations that after about five or six hours I find that I don't mind that I'm starting to get a little bit oily I don't mind that it's starting to look a little bit dewy because it just looks healthy my skin looks healthy and glowy so with this one I do like to use a primer though because I feel like primer really does make a difference with this product as always my favorite primers are the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and Light the Stila correcting primer which I have somewhere yeah the Stila correcting primer I love it and then I do love my soap and glory one with this one as well but it's actually still in my travel makeup bag from when I come to Fl come back from Florida a couple weeks ago but those are three really good primers that I do like um, to use almost all my foundations with but I find that all of them work really re well with this and it does prolong wear of this this is a foundation that I have been able to wear all day and it doesn't bother me again, but around hour five, I do get a, start getting a little bit oily. And about around hour eight, that is when I like to blot and touch up. But usually I don't wear my foundation for more than eight hours. Um, but if you are someone who does, I might get a sample of this because, again, it, it, it's definitely not like the most like matte finish so if you're someone who gets oily it might not last as long for you but for me I just think it looks so beautiful on the skin and I just add that primer and it's just looks so amazing um, I also noticed that something that does really help with this foundation is using a setting spray I find that when I would use the setting spray I would get about another hour wear out of this foundation with before me having to touch up the max time that I wore this foundation was when I was in Florida and I wore it for 12 hours on two different days. 
it was super hot. We were in there like early July. It just really, really hot. So it really impressed me that this lasted that long. Um, as far as powder, I do like to set my this foundation with a translucent powder, um, just because I find that when I set it with um, with a powder that's got like a little bit of like color to it or whatever, I find that it doesn't look as natural as this foundation looks on its own. Whereas like with a translucent powder, it doesn't add any coverage or anything. It just sets the foundation, and I just love how this foundation looks on its own and how natural and like glowy it just looks it just it's a beautiful foundation I love how it wears so I don't like going in with a foundation that has like coverage because I feel like it takes away from um, how beautiful this foundation looks on the skin as far as the coverage from this foundation I think that it covers really well it covers my redness any breakouts that I have I definitely think it's more on to the medium side definitely buildable to full coverage because sometimes like I said I do have a little bit of redness in my cheeks but I just go in like I said over top of that and it covers it really well so I definitely say this is a medium to buildable full coverage foundation um, I definitely think that as far as how much product you use you don't use as little as I'd say you do with like the Urban Decay one but I find that I just need a small amount I'd say like a pump from a regular foundation and that covers my entire face. So I definitely think that, you know, for $48, one fluid ounce, this, I can see this lasting me a really long time. As far as how it gra grabs onto any dry patches or anything, I don't find that it grabs onto my dry patches at all. Again, while I was in Florida, the reason I got this foundation was because my makeup for everyone was grabbing onto like every little like dry patch I had and I'd gotten sunburned and was grabbing up here. This one did not grab onto any of that. I almost felt like this kind of covered it over, like over top of where it was flaking and stuff. Did not emphasize it whatsoever. So if you do have dry skin, you know, you definitely might want to give this foundation a try because like I said, it did not grab onto any and even my nose was burnt and this just kind of like padded right over top of it um, and helped. So as far as it fe like feels on the skin, it is very lightweight. I don't find that it feels heavy whatsoever. Um, so the last thing I want to say um, about the about the foundation is how it's like sits on your face and what like brushes and stuff like to use with it. So I don't find that this sinks into my pores, doesn't sink into my fine lines, which is really nice because like the Urban Decay one I mentioned, it sinks into like my smile lines right here. This one does not do that. It doesn't sink in like the lines on my forehead or anything. And like I said, as far as finding a foundation that doesn't sink into my pores, like I am obsessed with that. This one does not sink into my pores. It does not make them like look any larger or anything. It almost just like glides right over top of them. Kind of like the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, it just glides over top of them and looks really beautiful. So my favorite way to apply it is with a sponge. I have just been obsessed with applying any of my foundations with a sponge. If I wanted to be like a little bit more full coverage, I would definitely recommend going in with um, a foundation brush or like a flat top kabuki brush. I found works the best and buffs this in really nicely. But my favorite way is definitely like without a doubt with a sponge. So definitely my favorite way to apply it. So... Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this review and demo of this foundation, and if you did, like I said, just comment down below, and if you've tried it out, tell other people your experience, so like I said, everybody can kind of, you know, depending on their skin type, kind of figure out if this is going to be a good foundation for them, and if you guys have any other products that you would like me to try out or any other foundations, just let me know in the comments down below, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.